Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you a few ways to fix event ID 1000 error on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run an SFC and BISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but paste each command one by one and press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button and make sure to click on Settings. Now click on Windows Update on the left pane and afterwards you will have a button here that says Check for Update. Make sure to click on it, then Windows will download and install the latest update for your PC. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to clean boot windows. Now to do this press the windows button then simply type msconfig and make sure to click on system configuration from the search result. Now the first thing you have to do in here under the general tab is to tick the box next to selective startup and then make sure to tick the box next to load system services, untick the box next to load startup items and then make sure that the use original boot configuration is ticked in. Next in line, head over to the Services tab and make sure to tick the box next to Hide all Microsoft services, then click on the Disable All button. Moving on, just head over to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. Now in here, simply disable any apps that you do not need and afterwards close this window, click on Apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reinstall the problematic software. To do this, press the Windows button, head over to Settings, then click on Apps on the left pane and afterwards click on Installed Apps on the right side. Now in here, simply uninstall the program that it's crashing for you, click on the three dots next to it and select the uninstall button. This will uninstall the program and afterwards you can just reinstall it and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.